Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I want to be able to just give you guys some insight and maybe a few tips based on the Music Entrepreneur Club Conference. That that tour, I was speaking on a panel today, me, uh, Corey, of course, Damien and, and DJ Payne, one, so many of those guys who actually throw on the tour, but... For those of y'all who weren't able to make it, it was a great group, producers, artists, all that good stuff, managers, and I wanna give a few tips that I think will be extremely valuable for y'all to hear. So, number one, Lady J Bookums. She graced her presence and she talked about content buckets. And it's essentially something that I talk about a lot, but I never put that terminology into it and I think it keeps it nice and simple. For So for those of y'all who are having a lot of troubles, when it comes to creating content and how to think about your content and brand your content it's just the idea of having you know your music videos right or well let's just say instagram it'll make it even easier it's the idea of having yo i'm gonna do my pictures i'm gonna do my um my music related post i might have a lifestyle brand on the side of it so i'm gonna post some of my things lifestyle driven maybe my vlog and how often are you gonna do those and how are you gonna attack each of those categories. So before you get into it, right, you have to strategize and understand which of those buckets you are, you have, how many of those buckets, and you create your own buckets. It's not necessarily a set amount of buckets. Some of the typical ones are, you know, my, my lifestyle stuff, my behind the scenes stuff, my uh, just photo ops, and obviously your music and the, and the post around that. Create some basic buckets like that. You can have a show series. Maybe you do something every Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Like do uh, whatever that bucket might be. You create a series. But make sure you have those buckets. That's just going to make your content strategy so much easier. I always say do that, but I never use the word content buckets. Easy way to remember it. Another thing is a huge theme started from what Corey talked about and Corey talks from this strategy of people that like you are better than fans that like your art All right, and essentially think about the videos when I say your music is not your product you are the product that's essentially what that's saying you want to be the product you don't want your music to be the product and we're talking about a long career why is that important? Because if people like your product and your product is your music, the moment your music is not right, the moment it's not lit, and everybody has their ups and downs, right? The moment it's not how people want it to be, then you're not getting that support. But if they like you, they're going to go with you through the ebbs and the flow because at the end of the day, they want you to win. Those are your most valuable fans. They're going to help you. They're going to transfer outside of probably music and, and get into other things, right? And if I only like your music, why would I necessarily want to do a meet and greet with you? I, if, if I'm a fan that likes you for you or some of these things that you're interested in, their personality, then I'm probably going to want to meet you. So those are two of the main things, those content buckets and also that idea of having people like you and expressing and showing this, that side to attract them to that part of your brand versus just your music. And last but not least, for those of you who do not know, Brandman Network has launched a merch course by Evan Owens, director of merchandise, merchandising for Love Renaissance. A lot of big artists I already know Love Renaissance. Some of you guys can look up LVRN on Google if y'all need to know, but he's a go-to guy for so many people in the industry. I mean, so many has dealt with merch into the millions, but that's coming from the ground up. He knows Ground Zero as well, started his own brand. There's nobody more knowledgeable really than this guy when it comes to the merch game. He, we launched a course, so Brandman Network members, Y'all got that for free, man. It's, it's in there. Go check it out if y'all haven't, haven't like y'all missed the emails or anything like that. And anybody else, man, join BrandManNetwork.com. I mean, we, we're having a lot of success helping these artists when it comes to building their particular brand, not just some general advice, their specific brand, their specific marketing plan, having them walk through ads with them, right? Getting 8,000, 9,000 views at one cent, zero 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 one cents all of those things are happening with our artists right now in brandmannetwork.com so that's just another thing that i gotta make sure to, to, to remind you guys i'm not pushing it super heavy because i only want the artists who are willing to do the work at the time where we're just building we're just building we're just building but keep that in mind for those of y'all looking forward to those of y'all who will join at some point but bruh 
If you are in the network and haven't checked out that merch course, you need to ASAP. Music Entrepreneurship Club. Shout out to y'all again for throwing that tour. It was a really dope event. Again, Damien, DJ Payne won. Lady J fucking slid on through. Corey slid on through. Drop gems as he always does. Song Trust and a lot of other great companies were there. Y'all should check it out if it's in y'all city. Other than that, hey, as always, this video is brought to you by BrandmanNetwork.com because I signed myself. And if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.